Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good and in today's video we are going to cover the extension of the previous uh, solution which we have covered. So um, in our last lecture we have covered the Fibonacci number and here like we are going to cover the nth Fibonacci number. This is also a lead code problem 1137. This is an, this is an easy uh, problem. So let us uh, like try to solve this and see. So before uh, like getting on to the actual solution, let us try to understand what the problem says. So if we can see uh, the problem, it says like we are given the three values T0, T1 and T2. That is the first three values and we have to calculate the value of Tn. Okay, so what is uh, given to us? We are given T0, T1 and T2. That means like the initial first three numbers. Uh, first three numbers and if we if we see that like what is what exactly is Tribanaki number so as we can see uh, like tn plus 3 is nothing but uh, like the addition of the previous two previous three numbers so this is n plus 1 and n plus 2 okay and if we um, like try to solve it deduct it more so we can also write like uh, t of n is nothing but t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2 and t of n minus 3 i hope like um, you are able to see that both these equations are uh, similar okay after knowing the theory let us try to go into the solution and before um, before jumping on to the solution let me show you one more thing so Mm, mm, mm. let me add a page yeah so let's say we have to find the um, Tribunaki number of 6 so for that we have to first calculate the Tribunaki like the Tribunaki number of 5 4 and 3 okay and for 5 we have to calculate for 4 3 2 similarly for 4 we have to calculate for 3 2 1 okay and for 3 we have to calculate for um, 2 1 0 so this is something which we are already given so t of 2 is 1 t of 1 is 1 mm, like t of 2 is 1 t of 1 is 1 and t of 1 is 0 so addition of this will return 2 now Mm, we have to calculate like t of 2 is already given as 1 and t of 1 is 1 so what will be the uh, number like the Tribunaki of uh, 4 so that will be 2 plus addition of these two numbers that is 4 okay we have already calculated Tribunaki of 3 that is 2 but it will calculate like uh, let us see that how we are going to write the code and Tribunaki of 2 is 1 so what will be the Tribunaki of 5 4 6 7 okay we already know the Tribunaki of 4 that is 4 and uh, 3 is 2 so what will be the uh, Tribunaki of 6 that is 13 so let us like try to write a code for the same and see if we are able to write it so if I open this is a lead code uh, problem 1137 mm -mm -mm. let me zoom in control plus plus yeah I hope this much is this message this much is um, cool so we are um, given a method and we will return um, what we have to return we have to return the value so that is of int type so let us write trib and pass the integer we will pass n okay now let us try to write the method which we have written so it is private it will return int and trib this is of int type n okay and uh, we have to first write the base condition what we are given so if uh, if it is like 0 or 1 in that case like we are returning the n itself that if n equal to equal to 0 or n equal to equal to 1 we have to uh, return 1 mm, return n okay and if 
n is equal to equal to 2 then in that case we have to return 1 so return 1 okay after we have written our base condition now let us try to um, like pass the so we just have to return um, trib of n minus 1 plus so this is a recursive call if you haven't uh, watched my first lecture in that like I have covered this and in the like a uh, basic solution so this is my medium series going on we have previously covered the 10 basic programs so you can watch that to have a better understanding if like this is not making sense to you but this is nothing but we are just making a recursive call to this function it will like uh, calculate so we are uh, like initially we will try to run it for six and um, that's see like let's see whether we are getting the right answer or not so mm -mm, i hope this should run okay so where we have missed the okay yeah so our solution is accepted so for 4 it is giving 4 and 4 uh, for n is equal to 25 it is mm -mm, can we write a test case on our own uh, uh, yeah let us write n is equal to 5 it should return as 15 uh, like 13 I guess uh, 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 case 3 n is equal to 5 7 uh, uh, where is my so for 6 it should return 13 so if we write how do i re reset test cases so for six let us wait for our test case six it is written in 13 that is correct now let us try to uh, submit the code So I'm sure it will give us TLE. Okay. So uh, like what is the problem that it is giving us TLE? The problem is that uh, if we see this code, so at every point like for this also, it will calculate the like this is already defined. So let's let's come to this. So we are calculating three over here. Like we have already calculated three over here. Okay. But again, like our program is going to cover three and as similar like we have covered four here but again it our program will uh, like try to calculate four here and it will calculate three over here and see this is this is a very small tree like of six like we are calculating the Fibonacci of six let's say if, if we are calculating the Fibonacci of let's say 100 or 110 so in that case like there are too much calculations and that's why like it is giving us this time limit exceeded so for that like how can we improve this code so like what we are going to do is that we are going to introduce a hash map in which what we are going to tell this program is that once we have calculated this three we are going to save this three in a hash map and next time when we encounter three so we will pick up that value from this hash map so let us try to code this for this we have to define a new hash map so the like we are calculating for an integer and the result is also an integer hash map mm -mm -mm. let us name it as map new hash map okay and we are passing our map over here and here also we have to include it teaser integer map I think this should work so
like we are calculating this so what we have to do is that uh, like to include it into the hash map let us um, let us simplify it a little bit and that and sum is equal to this then we are returning sum okay and let's say if map dot contain key n okay then i am going to return uh, like i am going to like simply we will not come here and we'll simply return this so if uh, like map dot contain key n then in that case like map dot put uh put key map dot mm, 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 like so uh, like we are this is key so this is going to and before that let us int key is equal to n and if this is this then we just get this key okay and after this we are going to save this sum okay so map dot put key sum and here we are going to return uh, map dot get key okay mm -mm. i hope this should work let us let us try to run this map dot contain key is it contains key like mm, map dot contains key contains key yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. okay we have to like we are passing this here so we have to pass our map also mm -mm. let me copy this and this is n minus 2 this is n minus 3 this is accepted now let us submit i hope it should not give us tle this time okay time limit getting exceeded like we only we only have like seven test cases remaining and for 31 this is still giving us tle what can be the okay so i think we have to return this key from here itself so if we um if we return this map dot get key from here itself and now let us try to run it one more time so this is pass and i hope it should work this time yeah so it is accepted and this is faster than like it beats almost 100 percent so that's good so i hope uh, like you be able, uh, like you are able to connect uh, with this uh, problem and i hope after this like you will be able to solve this and if you are enjoying this series just hit that like button it will like surely help me to make more such videos in future thank you guys hope you have a nice day bye